Hey, Billy DVD Reviews on Buying Series. Today we got a double feature. Well, not really. It's the same movie, just two different cases. We got the feature shop editions of The Hunger Games. Uh, both, it's all the same two disc Blu ray discs. But what Feature Shop did, a Canadian chain of stores, was to make two steel books. They made this one, which had the like the regular key art or whatever you call it, because they knew the mainstream steel book fuckers would love it. And then they made this one, which is I guess the District 12 artwork. Originally, when they showed the pictures of this, everybody was like, "Oh, I don't want it. I like the colorful." But what they did was they made this second one a little more limited edition. I don't know how many less copies they made, but it's it's kind of more rare. So then all some of them fuckers who hated it for months and months, once it was sold out in the stores, they all wanted it and shit. We're going to open them both up, because fuck it, I never resell shit on eBay. I don't give a fuck about the value. First up with the main edition of The Hunger Games, the common one. I have to admit, I was very fucking surprised when this shit came out with such a big hit. You know, I've seen the trailer for, you know, months and months, just like everybody else. I just thought it looked like a boring fucking PG-13 version of Battle Royale. But, you know, I knew it was going to be special when I was going to see, like, a Jason Staten movie at the theater. It was, like, a Thursday night, and then all these girls were all dressed up like fucking Catnap Beverdeen. And they're standing outside, like, waiting all night for the fucking midnight show and shit. So, sorry I pissed on everybody's parade. I didn't know this would be a phenomenon and shit. I have not seen the movie. Everybody I know said it's boring as fuck and very corny. But I will give it a shot just because, you know, when there's that much hype and uproar of a phenomenon, I gotta see what's going on. Got the cover. It looks very nice, reflective in the light. It, this is a nice artwork. I do. I don't know shit about the movie, but that is a very fucking cool symbol. Got the side there, typical spine. On the back... Fucking, I got all these particles from the cardboard stuck to here. I'm going to have to sit there and fucking lick those things off. You know, that's kind of a trade secret of this shit. When you get these little fucking, I don't know, fucking paper things. When they've been stuck on there for months, sitting in a warehouse and all that. Like, they get particles. You got to sit there and lick that shit off. You gotta, that's the only thing that's going to get your steel book clean is human spit. But anyway, I'll save that for another time. I guess that's the slogan of the movie, Made the Odds be ever in your favor. Let's open it up, see what's going on. We got a digital code for the Hunger Games. Here we got the different ones, Hunger Games. This is the Canadian one, so it says Movie La Film, the Hunger Games, Hunger Games, the Film, all that shit. It's got a little bit of French on it, but for the most part. There, I, I don't know shit about this movie, but I do know that's uh, Catnap Everdeen. And then you got this motherfucker who's in every other fucking movie. I don't know who he is. But anyway, I guess they're the main, like, love interest trying to fucking appeal to Twilight. What the fuck, man? This, like, plastic has bubbles in it and shit? I don't know, man. Fuck the feature shop. Fucking get some quality control going on. Anyway, there's two characters. I guess they're going to kiss, and that's going to be the finale of the movie. You know, their kiss will unite a nation or, well, I don't know what the fuck it is. But anyway, that's the first, more common edition of the Hunger Games. The not so common one, the more rare one that everybody's just blowing their load over on eBay and shit. Alright, I actually like this version. I like how sparse and shit it is. You have the cover here. This is actually all deboss, emboss, however you want to put it. Raised up shit. Very cool. I like it when the light hits it. See that? See that shine like that? Very uh, utilitarian spine here. We have pretty much the same back as the other one. On the back here, we have a bunch of little chips in the paint here. Um, I don't know if that's like part of it, make it look weathered or what, or just a shitty paint job. But I was trying to scrape something off. I even scraped a little more paint off. So yeah, buyer beware if you're buying this shit on eBay. Uh, I'm sure you'll keep it sealed so you can resell it later on. But yeah, the quality control on these Hungry Game ones from Future Shop, not very fucking good, I don't think. Got the same old code. Got the same old disc. So apparently I own two versions of the Hungry Game. Not versions, they're all the same. Here we have the inside, some security guards taking the uglied up Jennifer Lawrence. I, I do like Jennifer Lawrence. I've only seen her in the X-Men movie, but I thought she's like a good young actress. So I will give this movie a shot just to see her. But it uh, looks very THX 1138 here with the, the uniforms and stuff. I don't know. But yeah, that's it for the Hungry Games. Just a word of warning. Everybody's blowing their nuts on these versions. I don't think the quality control was really that great on these. So I know this is the hot one every once. So I like it. But like, I don't know. And then this one had the bubbles on the inside shit. Like, I don't know, man. Like, if you're crazy about this movie, if you're one of the fans, shell out the money. But if you're just a steelbook collector, you know, just beware, man. You might be getting some fucking sloppy shit when you pick these motherfuckers up.